In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can add an Edpuzzle to a Schoology course. Now, this tutorial is going to assume that Edpuzzle has already been installed at an organizational level or you have already installed it as an app in your Schoology courses and that you already have your Edpuzzles already created. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our course and we're going to go into a folder where we want this Edpuzzle to appear. And you can see here because Edpuzzle was added um, to at an organizational level, I have Edpuzzle available as one of the materials when I add something to Schoology. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Edpuzzle. And what that's going to do is open up a window with any of the videos that you have created or that you have pulled from Edpuzzle's content, and you will see a list of all of those particular videos. Now, I do find it helpful. You can see here it automatically logged me in. I didn't have to do anything. I do find it helpful to have logged into Edpuzzle itself in another tab on my browser so that my login information is automatically picked up. So I'm going to just select the Edpuzzle that I want to add, and the way that you do that is by clicking on the eyeball that you will see in the middle of the video. And then you can scroll down and you can click Assign. There will be some default settings that you can adjust if needed. Prevent skipping will prevent the students from fast forwarding through the video before they get to the questions. And you can also turn on closed captioning. So I'm going to click Assign. and now the Edpuzzle will be in the folder where I created it. However, in order for the students to actually participate in your Edpuzzle, you do need to go back and make one change. So this is the Edpuzzle that I just added. So you're going to click on the wheel and you're going to click the Edit button. In order for the students to actually take this, you do have to make sure that you come back and edit this and you click on Enable Grading. Otherwise, the students will not be able to participate in the Ed Puzzle. And then you, anything else with an asterisk, obviously you need to fill out, but you do not need to fill out um, any of this other information up here. So you can assign a point value, and then you can also assign a due date. And you also are, have to choose a category. And then once you have that information, you can click Save Changes. And now that we have enabled grading, the students will be able to view this Edpuzzle. And when we are ready to view how the students did, all we need to do is click on the Edpuzzle and we will get a progress report of how all the students have done. So right now you can see I have one student in this course. They have not watched this yet. There's no grade yet um, and nothing has been turned in. So this is just a little quick tutorial on how to add an Edpuzzle and ensure that your students are going to be able to participate in it.